Hello everyone, today I will be doing a tutorial on how to install PlayStation Remote Play on your Android device. This should work on KitKat, Lollipop, and Marshmallow. I have Nexus 5 running Marshmallow's official build. So let's get started. First of all, you need to go to settings. When you're in settings, you'll scroll down to security. Once you're in security, you're going to scroll a little bit. I passed it, didn't I? To unknown sources. You're going to want to make sure that this is on. If unknown sources is not on, it won't work. Next, you're going to need to find the APK. The APK is located on XDA. So we'll go there. We're going to type remote play XDA page 215. It'll take us there. let the content on the page load so that way we don't accidentally click advertisements. And there they are. Wonderful advertisements. Come on, there we go. Alright, so you're going to scroll down the thread just a little bit until you see Twisted89 um, he posted, he's been working on this himself, uh, he's been doing a phenomenal job, we do appreciate all the work you've done, Twisted89, keep up the great work, but going forward, you're going to click Media Fire, that will take you to his APK, I'll also post the link in the description below, click Confirm. Now I have the PlayStation app on my phone, so that's pretty much just to communicate, see who's online. But since I'm logged into this app, it will integrate with Remote Play. So let's get out of there. So now you can either click the notification, but let's say if you were busy and you weren't able to install it at that time, I use Astro as my file manager. Locate your file manager, go to your downloads folder, and then tap install, you see that at the bottom. We're gonna install it. Once it is installed, we're gonna tweak the settings a little bit. Skip registering, I believe only works on Sony Xperia devices. Um, a way around that is you can get a mail to mail cable and connect it through your controller, which it's lag free, um, no latency between there. So uh, I recommend the cord mail to mail. So uh, we will choose video quality. Change that from standard, change that to high. Go back, go back, next. And it's going to locate my PlayStation 4 at home. As you can see, I'm not on Wi Fi, I'm on my 4G LTE. And this was one of the major benefits that I needed was to just be on the go and be able to access my console, let's say for midnight release of downloads to make sure it's installing or downloading. So uh, it's convenient to have, I must say. You need really fast internet speed. Um, I would recommend 100 download, 50 upload if you have it. I have 100 download and I get 25 upload, which is almost perfect. It gets the job done. Sometimes it's hesitant, but I do believe I might need to update my router to something newer. I have a N600 Netgear, so uh, that's a little outdated. I want to say 2012, maybe 2011, but it's time to update my router. And as you can see right here, it has uh, identified my PlayStation. That means it's kind of interacting with it. All right. Modded by Twisted89. Thanks, bro. We do appreciate all your work. And as you can see, on my console. 
I wanted to jump into Madden or Advanced Warfare, I can do so. I could jump into downloads and notifications, however I would prefer. But that's it, y'all. Hopefully this will get the job done for you. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time.